June 27, 1999, a child by the name Aubrey Graves was born. When we were kids, life was easy. Only thing we had longed for was candy, toys, and our pacifiers. We cried when we didn't get the things that we wanted or if we had pooped our pants. Daycare was a whirlwind of loud kids all crying because the adults couldn't give us their undivided attention. <laughs> I remember recess. They had to take me out first because if I didn't get my black pickup truck, I'd cry my heart out. Soon after that, elementary school came. The next step towards growing up. I started off early going girl crazy. I had plenty of so-called girlfriends. I kissed a girl for the first time in second grade. She was black. I got suspended for the first time ever in fourth grade. My grandmother had just died and I didn't know how to take it. The girl I had kissed in second grade sadly said forget my grandmother and I snapped. I hit her. That was the first big screw up. Middle school came in a blink of an eye and then all the real trouble came. I was suspended about six or seven times in middle school. I was in a never ending spin cycle with no way of stopping it. I thought I had one thing that could keep me sane. I completely screwed that up multiple times. Finally, she had enough. She left. High school struck and it was like a new beginning. I could be who I wanted. Sadly, I was suspended the third week of school for fighting and it seemed as if the label that I was trying to leave in middle school had followed me. The person I am now is nothing like who I used to be. The reason I rambled on all about the bumps in my life is because everything that has happened has happened for a reason. There's not one thing that's happened just because. I began to notice it. One thing we always say is, I wish I could have changed what I've done. I've said that so many times, it's crazy. But now, I try not to say it. Why? Because I'm starting to have no regrets for any and everything that I've done. Everything that has happened has happened for a reason. Anybody who's come into my life, whether they've left or not, they don't know it, but they've helped me become the man I am standing here today. The one person who has helped me the most is Sergeant Campbell. In him, I see a part of myself. Our past aren't that much different. He grew up in a place that wasn't good, but he made it out. Look at him now, a very successful man not really worrying about anything. It's crazy how much a person in such a short moment or a short amount of time can change anything. But what's life to a kid who knows nothing about it? It's just life. After all the things that has happened in my life, I'm thankful for it. I've learned from all my mistakes. Most people that know me know that I'm big on quotes. And here I'll leave you with my favorite quote. It doesn't take much to be yourself. Small, short, and simple. Now think about that and you tell me, how do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself? Beanie, how you feel, Beanie? Beanie, how you feel, Beanie? Oh, my God, thank you. Beanie, 
got you. Hey, hey. I didn't even move. Y'all dropped me. Petey, how you feel? I hate y'all. And they wanted me to.